आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ रैबिट रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ मेल रैबिट इज डिफरेंट फ्राम फीमेल रैबिट एंड फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ मेल रैबिट रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ मेल रैबिट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू टेस्टिस विच प्रोड्यूस स्पन्स एंड द डक्ट्स विच आर एसोसिएटेड विद टेस्टिस and whose function is to transport and store the sperms ducts are actually small tubes which mature and uh, store as well as transport the sperms produced in the testes the third part of the reproductive system of males are the glands which are associated with the testes these glands add various secretions to the sperms and make the sperms fluid like these secretions of the glands which are associated with testes along with the the sperms are collectively called semen semen is a material which consists of about 90% secretions from the glands associated with the testes and about 10% sperms now we discuss it in detail testes is a plural word the singular of the testes is testes both the testes are enclosed in a pouch of skin which is called scrotum inside the scrotum are enclosed quite round ball like testes and uh, these testes comprise of many tubes which are called seminiferous tubules these are coiled tubes sperms are produced inside seminiferous tubules after the production of the sperms the sperms are stored and matured around and in a tube which is present around the seminiferous tubules or testes this tube is called epididymis epididymis is a coiled tube around testis and uh, it stores as well as matures the sperms when sperms are about to be ejaculated they are released from epididymis and they enter into a duct which is called sperm duct or vas deferens this sperm duct 
meets the urethra near urinary bladder this is imagine urinary bladder the sperm duct goes near to urinary bladder and join to it urinary bladder empties into urethra so here you may consider that the pathway of the sperms and the pathway of the urine is common is the same this is sperm duct which is meeting urinary bladder in which urine is stored in the end of the urinary bladder urethra goes away and uh, along with the urethra urine and sperm two things are passing out urethra goes outside and releases urine as well as sperm it is common to both now we discuss about the glands the associated glands with the sperms or testes these are prostate gland which is present around this position and seminal vesicle which is present around this area and cowper's gland which is present near the ejection the prostate gland add a neutralizing secretion to the urine so that the effect of urine on sperms will be no this produce a neutralizer a buffer this neutralizer helps the sperms to be living and not dead because of the acidity from urine which comes along with the sperms through the urethra the gland which is called seminal vesicle add food to the sperm these add seminal vesicles are the glands exocrine glands which add a secretion which contains food for sperm because sperm have to live for about 7 days inside the reproductive tract of female rabbit that is why sperms require food to be living and this food is provided by seminal vesicles to the sperm now the last glands exocrine glands which are associated with the testes and male reproductive system are called cowper's glands cowper's gland add a lubricant to the semen or sperms this lubricant acts like a grease and helps the sperms or semen to be ejaculated at a faster rate and to reach the required area of the reproductive tract of female so this is the reproductive system of male rabbit which consists of cowper's gland seminal vesicle prostate gland testes epididymis sperm duct urethra and scrotum inside which the testes are located